What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out today's video. We are back here in the shop today with the Z06. I know it's been a while since I made a video. My business has really uh, picked up. I've been very busy, which is a good thing. Um, good thing for me and my business, but bad for this thing over here. So we are back today. We had some free time. Um, I have been working on it here and there, uh, you know, between customer jobs and all that stuff. Um, and I was going to make a part one and part two of getting this thing back together and running. Uh, but I wasn't really thrilled with a lot of the footage that I had from the what was supposed to be the part one video. So we're just going to kind of go over everything, give a recap of what's going on. And then hopefully in this video, we're going to get this thing completely back together and finally running again. So here's where we are today. Um, put the valve covers back on, mainly to keep, you know, dust and dirt out. I've been covering the intake ports as well, but got the valve covers back on. Um, so now we basically just have to hook up the headers, obviously get the intake manifold back on, hook up all the lines, coil packs, wiring, all that. Um, I have all of the front accessories back together except for the alternator. Left that off to give me some more room to work here. Getting this power steering pump and all the lines and cooler that's down there and everything fitted was a huge pain in the butt. Um, so even if I did video that, I wouldn't be showing you because it is just completely boring and stupid and a pain in the butt to watch. So yeah, like I said, we don't really have much to do. I mean, there's a lot to hook up, but in terms of actually installing stuff, there's not much left. Um, like I said, intake manifold, hooking up the headers, radiator, condenser, all that stuff. We got the intake manifold with our injectors here ready to go. We got all new gaskets on the bottom. Reattach the throttle body with a new seal or gasket as well. And then what I'm going to do first today is throw in some new O2 sensors. These are brand new here. Um, these didn't look bad. This one has looked to be replaced, but this one actually may be the original. So just want to start fresh with those. Also going to be doing some heat shielding for the starter because with the headers they are known to fail with the excessive heat. So we're gonna get started on those things and hopefully like I said this thing is going to be running today definitely in this video um, but hopefully today um, we can get this work done get this thing to fire up may not drive out of here today but I really want this thing running I want to hear that chop again I miss this thing this thing has been in this shop for longer than I actually had it to drive it on the road so I'm ready to get this thing out of here and uh, have some fun with it. So let's get started and see where it ends up. Starting to make some progress. Got the intake manifold on, bolted, torqued down. I'm gonna wait to hook all the electrical stuff up till we get everything else in place, ready to go. So now we're just going to put the radiator condenser, um, hook up all the uh, coolant hoses, everything like that. And um, we are really almost there. I can't wait. Hopefully this continues to go fairly smooth and we can crank this thing. <laughs> Kept doing stuff, uh, kind of got on a roll here. So uh, as you saw, put the alternator back on, plugs, wires, started to plug in, or not started, but plugged in all the injectors, coil packs, um, got all but I think one or two of the coolant lines hooked up. So I'm gonna do the belt now. I'm gonna put that on just while I have the, the, in, the space from the intake there. And then we'll hook up the intake and then we'll be ready to put some coolant in this thing and hopefully fire it up. I guess it's ready to go. Uh, we just got the coolant in there. Top that off for now. 
Uh, went over everything, all the connectors, lines, vacuum lines, fuel lines. I think, I think we might be ready to fire this thing up. Saying I am super nervous would be a complete understatement at this point, but I'm ready to hear it. So let's, let's go. Let's just do it, get it over with and hear this thing run. All right, so we had little to no luck getting this thing running. It did run on three cylinders or so. I had compression in three cylinders. Um, so as you see here, the car, the engine is back apart. Got the heads off. They're sitting right over here. And uh, I tried multiple things, contacted the lifter company because essentially what was happening is those lifters were completely pumped up and the valves were hanging open, so not allowing it to build compression. Was basically told to pull the plugs, unhook the uh, coil packs, injectors, all that stuff, and just crank this thing over and basically was told that the uh, lifters should find their spot, valves should close. And then especially if I was able to get this thing running with all the compression and everything, then they should definitely even out and find their sweet spot. This did not do that. This car ran for almost a half hour at idle up to temp, and it almost started to run worse and worse and worse. So we have our heads off the car, pulled all the lifters out, and while I had them out, obviously I wanted to inspect the lifters, um, both because of the problem that they were having, and I just wanted to make sure everything was good on them. Um, so I took this one pair here, this one on the left is still assembled, this one on the right is disassembled. Pull the snap ring off and pull the little ball seat out. And then you can see here on this inner piston, this is what kind of goes up and down in here. You can see that the, I don't know if it's a coating or just the finish on here is damaged. And it's tough because it's oily, but if you twist this thing around here, this is how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look nice, smooth, um, not damaged like this, and I can actually uh, feel it with my nail. Very, It's very prominent, uh, then the damage on here. This you don't see when it's inside because this is all compressed and obviously held down with the snap ring. So at this point, I don't know if these lifters are defective or what's going on. The company that I spoke with, they were just as confused as I am, and the guy basically insisted that I didn't have to take it apart and these should find their sweet spot, which of course they didn't. So either way, these lifters are not going back in this car. The one I pulled apart, like I said, is damaged, so I don't know what the other 15 look like. I haven't taken them apart. Um, so even if I have to buy a new set, um, you know, so be it. These are not going back in. I'm in communication with the, with the company, seeing what they can do um, and see if we can get this sorted out. But that's where we are right now. I'm very, very disappointed. That's kind of an understatement at this point. I did not plan to obviously take this thing back apart. But when you're building high performance stuff like this, you know, stuff happens, especially with aftermarket parts. So obviously I was hoping that this thing was going to be done and driving by now, um, cause I'm ready to just use this thing, drive it, take it to the track, make a whole bunch more videos. Obviously there's other little things I wanna do, but it needs to be running first, obviously. So. We're gonna be putting that on hold now again, and uh, it's just, like I said, it's part of it, it's unfortunate, but I hope you guys stick around and you're excited to see this thing run finally, and uh, you know, just hoping for the best at this point. So thanks for checking out this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you're excited to hopefully soon see this thing run and see what else we have in store for it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing, and I just come along for the journey. Obviously, this has been quite the journey, and I just see where it all ends up. So thanks again for watching. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day and I'll see you next time.